Ben Wivis is a National Nature Reserve. A National Nature Reserves, there's about 40 or so of them across Scotland, and they're places that are really special for nature and places where people can go and visit. This particular site is uh, part of Ben Wivis, the Munro. It's a very big mountain in Easter Ross here. It's got a lot of upland habitats. Uh, it's also a really nice place for people to come and, and climb Munro if they're looking to do a bit of hill walking as well. Most of the peatland on the National Nature Reserve is actually in really good condition, but there are some areas on the NNR um, that are really quite eroded with hags and gullies. So we're really keen to restore those areas because um, bare peat emits carbon as opposed to locking it away. So peatland restoration is really important in helping to mitigate the climate crisis. Work on Ben Wivis started in July 2023. There was two main restoration techniques and this was hag and gully reprofiling and the second one was drain blocking. We're now in the final phase of restoration and when we have completed it, we'll have restored around 240 hectares at the site. If you'd walked through the area that's now been restored before it had been restored, you'd find it incredibly hard going because there are very tall, steep-sided hags and gullies. And what you now see in those areas is a gently undulating, revegetated landscape. The peatland in this part of the site is actually right next to Forestry and Land Scotland land where there was a lot of non-native woodland that was planted, commercial crop. Forestry and Land Scotland do some great work in restoring that and taking the forest edge back. It's a phased project, we'll be doing this over about 10 years and there's approximately 450 hectares that will be restored. Once we've taken the trees off, we're then trying to modify or remodify the site to block the drains and uh, bring the water table back up to the surface to get the bogs functioning as, as they should do, as proper blanket bog again. So another good thing about this peatland restoration project is that it's part of a wider catchment. Once the peatland's restored, it's going to hold more water and it'll slow the flow of the water downstream. And that helps to, to mitigate issues further downstream, such as flooding when there's, when there's high water and things like that. The River Peffrey project, we started about two years ago, where we identified a section of the river that was previously straightened. And we thought it would be a good idea to try and re-meander it to reconnect it to its floodplain with an idea to try and improve the habitat of the river but also slow the flow and hopefully reduce downstream flood risk because unfortunately at the moment the River Peffrey has, uh, has flooded Dingwall quite a few times in the past. Doing peatland restoration has helped the business. We've grown from two people to employing seven people over the last few years and we always employ local people so it creates an opportunity for local people to have a future in the area and continue to have a stable employment.